Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode, I want to discuss about dendrobium propagations. What happens if you have a single cane dendrobium by either the main plant rotted it or when you divide the plant, you have a cane that just come loose by itself. What are you gonna do about it? And how are we going about keep it growing? Dendrobium, the hard cane type of dendrobium can be propagated very easily as long as the cane is still green and firm. If it's yellow, mushy, there's nothing you can do about it. If it's still firm, it still can be propagated. Now, nobly type can also be propagated, but we are not going to discuss the nobly type. That will be a separate video that I will be doing. Today, we're just gonna talk about dendrobium in general, the heart cane type. Now, this is dendrobium atenatum. When I divided this plant, this cane came up by itself. Why? You see right here at the end, this is only attached to the other plant by a little bit of tissues left. So instead of having a cane that is wobbling around, because this one is not attached to anything anymore, it's just wobbling around the base, I didn't want to secure it with a stake. So instead, I took it out and just leave it like this. This hang it to my greenhouse. Just like that, hang it on top, this wrap around the, the pole. I'll show you a picture of what I meant. Just hang it like this. I spray water daily. After a month or so, this node finally opened up and sent out a new growth. Okay, that's one way of propagating it. The other way of propagating it, you can actually let it sit on top of a, a moss tray. I have some live moss, which evidently is no longer live, it's dead. I'll show you the picture. All it does is sitting on top of the live moss, okay? There are some new root here. You can see lots of new roots growing. This one came out when I repotted my gigantic dendrobium over there, the Kinjianum. This cane already came with multiple keikis when it separated from the mother plant. This new root right here, it just recently grew for me because of the new growth. I'm not sure you can see the new growth. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I'll bring you guys a closer look later. Same as this one. I think I damaged the root. So this is another method that you can propagate by just putting on top of a moss tray. If you don't have moss available, you can also watch my other video how I have a humidity trays with some um, wire mesh sitting on top. That can also provide humidity for the plant to sit in. If you don't have a mesh tray, a, a wire mesh, you can also use rocks, pebble, or clay pellet. Lay on top, put about a little bit of water on the bottom. Through uh, evaporations, the plant can actually absorb the moisture, okay? So that's how you do it. The other method is a straight up, fold, straight up method, which is take the cane and just stick into a media, pot it up. I have two right here that I potted up. This one I recently took it out. This is the back bulb kind of style. This one is the oldest cane from the dendrobium that I propagated. This is probably the one that they used to propagate initially, okay? The reason why I separate these out because these, if I pot it up, it will be potted very deep into the pot and I didn't want to pot it deep in, into the pot to avoid any uh, future rot. So instead, I took it out and try to see if I can propagate this. There is still one viable node here and one right here. Hopefully, this viable no node would actually send out a new growth for me in about a few weeks. This one here is a Kinjianum. I just tossed one, this one in here, in this uh, container here. This is, um, uh, I think this, this is my uh, strawberry holder when I used to hold my strawberry, put it in the fridge, but I took it out. This is a perfect kind of pot to pot it up. At that time of potting this up, I didn't have any two inch pot. I only have this. 
So yes, I know this is a little big for this part, right? Well, sorry, a little small for this part. So, but anyway, I put it in, part of like this, let it sit like this. The root actually now find its way into the media. If you worry about root rot, I wouldn't worry about it because if you water properly, you would not have any root rot issues or any of the, you know, rot that caused by overwatering. Okay, I don't water this until it's dry. I can see visibly that it's dry. Now I just show you four different methods of propagating these dendrobium hawking ones. Now I'd like to hear about your way of propagating your dendrobiums. So hopefully you guys have a better way. There's, there's another way that is very popular by the internet, which is SPAC and BAG method. Spagnum moss in the bag, put this in a spagnum moss, moist spagnum moss in the bag, and let it sit in a warm, bright area. And eventually it will send out new growth. I tried that method. It didn't really work that well for me on that method. So I stopped using that method. The reason for that is there's a high chance that you will have rot in it. So I find that it is a lot easier if you have the time to just spray water daily on these canes or just create a humidity tray and let it sit on top of the humidity tray. Don't cover it. Let some air to run through it. So there's air circulations and you don't have to worry about rot. Okay. Now, spac and bag method actually works for some people, but it never works for me. So you want to try that method? Go ahead and try but I would, not, I would not recommend that method. I would recommend the method where just stick into, lay it on top of the moss tray or humidity tray or let it hang air dry like this and then just spray it daily or just pot it straight up. Whichever method that you choose, it will work. You pot it straight up, make sure you don't water it until it's completely dry because the plant doesn't have roots and you don't want to cause any more rot for the plant, okay? Anyway, let me bring you a closer look at what I meant so that you can see it. So hopefully you can see the new growth right here. It is coming out and hopefully in about a couple of weeks, this new growth is going to send out new roots for me. At that time, I can actually pot this up. Right now, I don't want to pot it up yet. I'm just going to leave it like this. These same thing. Oh, well, I guess I caused damage to this root now. Oh, well, it's going to grow new root for me. There's still a new root. This same thing. Okay. It is still growing nicely. I will not repot this until the root about three inches long. Okay, three to five inches. And then just pot it out to individual pot. I could actually pot this out right now too, but then I need to stick this in order for, to avoid few, any more damage to this root system here. This one right here, you see the root is very fat because the moss is very moist. So it's sending out roots down to the, uh, to the, to the moss and actually absorb uh, moistures and nutrients from there. This cake is already there when I uh, take this thing out. So, but it just grow additional uh, cakeies for me, right here, new growth on the, on the cakey. So, when this had about three to five new growth, I can actually separate this and pot an individual pot. So, when this actually matures, I will have about four or five plants and four or five different pots. Okay. And this one right here, same thing. There's a new grow right here on this tiny uh, cane, and I'm just gonna let it grow to a bigger cane. I'm not gonna touch this. I'm just gonna let it sit on top of this uh, bark mix right here and until it gets bigger. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave it as it. Right here, same thing. There is a viable eye right here, potentially, that can send out a new growth. There's one right here. I don't know if that's still viable, but it looks like it is viable. And like I said, this is probably the original cane that they used to propagate the orchid with. Now, this is going to be a slow grower because this is not the newest new cane. This is the oldest cane in the whole cluster. So it might take a long time before I see new growth. Is it worth it to propagate these? I think so. There's nothing wrong with propagating them. I have time. I'm not in a hurry of seeing this blooming. Okay. Now, if you propagate by this method, single cane, it will take you anywhere from two to five years to see flower blooming. But I'm okay with it, okay? If you're not okay with it, by all means, buy a new plant. But if you have a plant that is special to you and is rotted it, 
and you only have one or two kings left, you can propagate them. You can just keep them clean of viruses and bacteria and rot free and it will continue to grow for you. All right, guys, hopefully you like this video. Please leave a comment below how you propagate your dendrobium. I'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you, guys. See you next time.